These 10 people could not avert shark encounters, but their wild survival stories offer courage that you can stay alive to say the tale even after being in the company of a great white. Here are the amazing stories behind 10 scary shark attacks and the fortunate folks that survived the shocking ordeals. Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 10. Todd Endress When Todd Endress was attacked by a great white shark near Marina State Park in California, he almost certainly should have died. The shark truly attacked him three times. The initial attack didn't do much harm, but the next skinned his back like a banana peel. With the third attack, the shark tried to eat his still-attached leg. All in all, Endress lost nearly half of his blood, and the shark undoubtedly would have taken the other half too, if not for Endress's adorable, unlikely saviors, dolphins. After the third attack, a group of dolphins reached and made a ring around Endress, keeping the shark away. Thanks to this interference, Endress was able to ride a wave to the beach, where rescuers and a friend were somewhat able to save his life. Number 9. James Grant It's essential to have your priorities straight. Just look at James Grant, who was attacked by a shark, decided he wanted a beer, considered hospital versus pub, and picked pub. Yeah, Grant was spearfishing in New Zealand when a shark attacked him. He wounded the shark with his knife till it let go and ran away. Grant then left the water, detached his wetsuit, and discovered several bites on his leg. Since he was a doctoral student, he stitched himself up and then decided it was time for a cold one. So he and his friends hit the nearest Colac Bay Tavern for a drink. When he was done, he headed to the hospital he worked at, where not drinking and apparently not so cavalier doctors did a better work of stitching him up. Number 8. Bethany Hamilton At age 13, Bethany Hamilton was already a growing surfing star. She grabbed second place in the Domestic Scholastic Surfing Association's National Championships. And then, a shark tried to ruin all her fun. On October 31st, 2003, Hamilton was surfing with a friend when a 14-foot tiger shark appeared, gripped her arm, shook it till it tore clean off, and then left with its dinner. Hamilton, although being 13 and minus half her arms, pretty calmly informed her friend that she'd just been attacked by a shark. They then paddled back to the beach, where Hamilton's friend's father used a surf rope as a band to help save her life. While you'd understand if she never approached water once more in her life, Hamilton never once considered quitting. Just a month later, she was back surfing, resumed to the NSSA National Championships in 2004, and won herself an award for Best Comeback Athlete. Number 7. Henry Bors On November 29, 1964, Bors was shooting an underwater documentary around Lady Julia Percy Island near Australia when a great white shark attacked him. Bors did all he could to kick the giant fish off, but he lost his left leg underneath the knee. Rather than ignoring about his documentary, like probably anyone else in the world would, Bors said his crew to keep shooting the aftermath. He even made sure they got shots of his leg moving helplessly in the water, since seemingly the shark decided it tasted awful. Bors recovered swiftly, returning to the water just six weeks later. Plus, he completed his documentary. He used the shots of his mutilation, plus some dramatization, to finish off Savage Shadows. Number 6. Nicole Moore Nicole Moore came about as near to death as any survivor could. Moore was chilling at a Cancun beach when she bumped into a bull shark that tore her to shreds. It grabbed her left leg and took a huge chunk out of it, like she was an apple. It also bit into her left arm. Even though she punched the shark and made it go away, her arm was wrecked. More notably, her body was ruined. The cuts were so grievous she could hardly breathe, and each heartbeat sent a stream of blood shooting out the huge hole in her leg. It took a hospital nearly eight hours just to force enough blood into Moore to keep her heart beating. The bites were so deep that Dr. Andrew Fagan, who later operated on her in her hometown of Toronto, noted bite marks on her bones. Miraculously, she persevered. However, there was no saving her arm. 
doctors effectively attached tissue from her right leg around the wound on her left. Two months after the attack, Moore was improving at home. She ultimately went back to work as a nurse, started running passionate races like the Warrior Dash, and just to prove she's an equal opportunity inspirer, she works with societies that aid shark attack survivors, plus ones that help safeguard endangered sharks. After all, Moore knows it's nothing personal. Number 5. Shannon Ainsley Sharks are typically solo hunters. It's strange if they mob up on prey. Yet, that's what happened to 15-year-old Shannon Ainsley. In 2000, he was surfing in East London, South Africa. There, he attracted the attention of not one, but two 15-foot great white sharks. The shark first grabbed his hand and pulled him underwater, while the second attempted to bite Ainsley's head. Luckily, it missed, as the first shark quickly swam away with its prey. Then it just gave up and let him go, abandoning him to the lonely sea. Thankfully, a wave appeared, which Ainsley was able to ride back to shore. His fingers were hanging off of his hand, but that's what stitches are for, right? Six weeks later, Ainsley was back surfing, albeit far from the scene of the attack and very nervously. Since then, he became more used to it and even admits that he doesn't fear sharks anymore. He actually encountered sharks twice since and has felt no fear. Number 4. Michael Coots. In 1997, Michael Coots lost his leg to a tiger shark attack. Mere weeks later, Michael Coots was back surfing. That's a man who loves the ocean and hates the idea of fear. Coots was surfing around Hawaii when a tiger shark appeared, decided it didn't like him, grabbed both of his legs and started, as Coots puts it, swinging him back and forth as a dog would do with a toy. Afterward, Coots punched it and it went away, but the damage had been done. Coots' right leg had been completely torn away. Not that it stopped him or anything, as three weeks later, once all the stitches were out, Coots was surfing with a prosthetic leg to keep him balanced. He has no issue with sharks, regularly swimming around them and even taking selfies with them. He does not anticipate getting attacked again, since attacks are, truthfully, so unbelievably rare. Count him among those who've been attacked by a shark, yet respect them completely. As he explained, sharks are not to be feared, but are amazingly beautiful and tremendously important species for the health of our oceans. We're sure that sharks would agree wholeheartedly. Number 3. Rodney Fox December 1963 brought one of the worst non-deadly shark attacks ever. A diver named Rodney Fox was spearfishing when a great white shark dragged him 30 feet underwater. Even after Fox fought back and escaped, the shark followed him to the surface, attempting to drag him back down again. Luckily, the shark bit into Fox's fish float. When the line broke, the shark just kept moving. A boat then arrived to bring Fox to the hospital for much needed medical treatment. The shark had shattered all his left side ribs, tore so much flesh that you could see his spleen, and bit his wrist so hard that a piece of a tooth is still embedded there. Fox needed more than 360 stitches just to not fall apart. While he was too scared to continue diving after that, Fox did not let it ruin his life. He became a conservationist and researcher dedicated to helping people better understand sharks and how important they are to our planet. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. German Backpacker on Australian Beach Sharks rarely attack humans and death by shark is even rarer, but victims do not often walk away unscathed. While every I was attacked by a shark story should impress your friends and family, some tales are just plain insane. The following viral image looks like pure fiction, but fiction would probably not get this creative. Number 1. Ahmad Hasim. In 2006, Ahmad Hasim and his brother were assisting lifeguards in Cape Town, South Africa by running survival drills. 
This involved Hasim's brother lying in the water and pretending to be a drowning victim, but he was unaware that a definitely not a drill 16-foot great white shark was approaching. Luckily, Akhmat saw it and, knowing sharks typically are attracted to sound, started splashing the water so the shark would leave his brother alone. The plan worked, but the shark became very interested in eating Akhmat. It grabbed him by the right leg and started pulling him underwater. Akhmat used his other leg to kick the shark until it let go, but it still severed Akhmat's leg below the knee. Luckily, a boat whisked him to shore once he reached the surface, and a quick trip to the hospital saved his life. He has since rebounded to do basically all the water things. He started swimming competitively, reaching the 2008 Beijing Paralympic Games, and winning gold in the 2012 London Paralympic Games. He actually thanks the shark for what it did. In addition, he also became a shark advocate, saying he now has a sense that sharks are in trouble, and who better to speak up for sharks than a shark attack survivor? Yes, he defends the very species that almost killed him, like if a tree fell on the Lorax's head and he kept speaking for them. That's all for today, folks. For most people, the idea of a shark attack is enough to make them never want to enter the ocean again. For others, though, even after being attacked by a great white, they still eagerly hop back on their surfboards. Are they cracked? Probably, but these stories are truly unbelievable. Write to us in the comment section below if you like this video or if you know any survivors of your own. And as always, thanks for watching.